Enoch is of the antediluvian period in the Hebrew Bible. Enoch was son of Jared and fathered Methuselah. This Enoch is not to be confused with Cain's son Enoch Genesis chapter 4 verse 17. The text of the book of Genesis says Enoch lived 365 years before he was taken by God. The text reads that Enoch walked with God, and he was no more, for God took him. Gen 5 21-24, which some Christians interpret as Enoch's entering heaven alive. Enoch is the subject of many Jewish and Christian traditions. He was considered the author of the Book of Enoch and also called Enoch the Scribe of Judgment. The New Testament has three references to Enoch from the lineage of Seth Luke chapter 3 verse 37, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5, Jude chapter 1 verses 14 to 15. Topic. Enoch in the Book of Genesis Topic. Enoch appears in the Book of Genesis of the Pentateuch as the seventh of the ten pre-deluge patriarchs. Genesis recounts that each of the pre-flood patriarchs lived for several centuries. Genesis chapter 5 provides a genealogy of these ten figures from Adam to Noah, providing the age at which each fathered the next, and the age of each figure at death. Enoch is considered by many to be the exception, who is said to not see death. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5. Furthermore, Genesis chapter 5 verses 22 to 29 states that Enoch lived 365 years, which is shorter than his peers, who are all recorded as dying at over 700 years of age. The brief account of Enoch in Genesis chapter 5 ends with the cryptic note that he was not, for God took him. Topic. Apocryphal books of Enoch Topic. Three extensive apocrypha are attributed to Enoch Book of Enoch, written in Gies, first time brought in Europe by James Bruce and translated in English by August Dillman and Reverend Shude, recognized by the Orthodox Tewahedo churches and usually dated between the 3rd century BC and the 1st century AD. Second Book of Enoch or the Book of the Secrets of Enoch, written in Old Bulgarian, first translated in English by William Morphel, usually dated to the 1st century AD. Three Enoch, a rabbinic text in Hebrew usually dated to the 5th century AD, these recount how Enoch was taken up to heaven and was appointed guardian of all the celestial treasures, chief of the archangels, and the immediate attendant on the throne of God. He was subsequently taught all secrets and mysteries and, with all the angels at his back, fulfills of his own accord whatever comes out of the mouth of God, executing his decrees. Much esoteric literature like the Three Enoch identifies Enoch as the Metatron, the angel which communicates God's word. In consequence, Enoch was seen, by this literature, and the rabbinic Kabbalah of Jewish mysticism, as having been the one which communicated God. S. Revelation to Moses, in particular, the dictator of the Book of Jubilees. Topic. Enoch in Book of Giants Topic. The Book of Giants is a Jewish pseudepigrapha from the 3rd century BC and resembles the Book of Enoch. At least six and as many as eleven copies were found among the Dead Sea Scrolls collections. Topic. Septuagint Topic. The 3rd century BC translators who produced the Septuagint in Koine Greek rendered the phrase, God took him, with the Greek verb metatithemi, metatithemi meaning moving from one place to another. Sirach 44 16, from about the same period, states that, Enoch pleased God and was translated into paradise that he may give repentance to the nations. The Greek word used here for paradise, paradisos, paradisos was derived from an ancient Persian word meaning enclosed garden, and was used in the Septuagint to describe the Garden of Eden. Later, however, the term became synonymous for heaven, as is the case here. Topic. Enoch in classical rabbinical literature Topic. In classical rabbinical literature, there are various views of Enoch. One view regarding Enoch that was found in the Targum Pseudo-Jonathan, which thought of Enoch as a pious man, taken to heaven, and receiving the title of Safra Rabbah great scribe. After Christendom was completely separated from Judaism, this view became the prevailing rabbinical idea of Enoch 
S character and exaltation according to Rashi from Genesis Rabba Enoch was a righteous man but he could easily be swayed to return to do evil Therefore the holy one blessed be he hastened and took him away and caused him to die before his time For this reason scripture changed the wording in the account of his demise and wrote and he was no longer in the world to complete his years among the minor midrashim, esoteric attributes of Enoch are expanded upon. In the Sefer Hekelot, Rabbi Ishmael is described as having visited the seventh heaven, where he met Enoch, who claims that earth had, in his time, been corrupted by the demons Shamazai and Azazel, and so Enoch was taken to heaven to prove that God was not cruel. Similar traditions are recorded in Sirach. Later elaborations of this interpretation treated Enoch as having been a pious ascetic, who, called to mix with others, preached repentance, and gathered despite the small number of people on earth a vast collection of disciples, to the extent that he was proclaimed king. Under his wisdom, peace is said to have reigned on earth, to the extent that he is summoned to heaven to rule over the sons of God. <laughs> Enoch in Christianity Topic. Topic. New Testament Topic. The New Testament contains three references to Enoch. The first is a brief mention in one of the genealogies of the ancestors of Jesus by Luke, Luke chapter 3 verse 37. The second mention is in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 KJV which says by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him, for before his translation he had this testimony, that he pleased God." This suggests he did not experience the mortal death ascribed to Adam's other descendants which is consistent with Genesis 5 verse 24 which says, "...and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him." The third mention is in the Epistle of Jude 1:14-15, where the author attributes to Enoch the seventh from Adam, a passage not found in Catholic and Protestant canons of the Old Testament. The quotation is believed by most modern scholars to be taken from 1 Enoch 1-9, which exists in Greek in Gies as part of the Ethiopian Orthodox canon, and also in Aramaic among the Dead Sea Scrolls. Though the same scholars recognize that 1 Enoch 1 9 itself is a midrash of the words of Moses, he came from the ten thousands of holy ones. From Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 2, the introductory phrase, Enoch, the seventh from Adam, is also found in 1 Enoch 1 n. 62 8, though not in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, this Enoch prophecies, 2 ungodly men, that God shall come with his holy ones to judge and convict them Jude chapter 1 verses 14 to 15. Topic. Influence in Christianity Topic. In early Christianity, use of the Book of Enoch as a divinely inspired text was widespread, since the canon had not yet been established definitively in the Church. Church fathers such as Justin Martyr, Athenagoras of Athens, Irenaeus, Clement of Alexandria, Origen, Tertullian, and Lactantius all speak highly of Enoch and contain many allusions to the Book of Enoch as well as in some instances advocating explicitly for the use of the Book of Enoch as scripture. Because of the letter of Jude's citation of the Book of Enoch as prophetic text, this encouraged acceptance and usage of the Book of Enoch in early Christian circles. The main themes of Enoch about the Watchers corrupting humanity were commonly mentioned in early literature. This positive treatment of the Book of Enoch was associated with millennialism which was popular in the early church. When amillennialism began to be common in Christianity, the Book of Enoch, being incompatible with amillennialism, started to be rejected widespread, and with the split of Oriental Orthodox from the Catholic Church in the 5th century, usage of the Book of Enoch was limited primarily to the Oriental Orthodox Church. Eventually, the usage of the Book of Enoch became limited to Ethiopian circles of the Oriental Orthodox Church. Another common element that some church fathers, like John of Damascus, spoke of, was that they considered Enoch to be one of the two witnesses mentioned in the Book of Revelation. This view still has many supporters today in Christianity. In LDS theology Topic. 
Among the Latter day Saint movement and particularly in The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, Enoch is viewed as having founded an exceptionally righteous city, named Zion, in the midst of an otherwise wicked world. This view is encountered in the Standard Works, The Pearl of Great Price and the Doctrine and Covenants, which states that not only Enoch, but the entire peoples of the city of Zion, were taken off this earth without death. Because of their piety, Zion is defined as the pure in heart. And this city of Zion will return to the earth at the second coming of Jesus. The Doctrine and Covenants further states that Enoch prophesied that one of his descendants, Noah, and his family, would survive a great flood and thus carry on the human race and preserve the scripture. The Book of Moses in the Pearl of Great Price has several chapters that give an account of Enoch's preaching, visions and conversations with God. In these same chapters are details concerning the wars, violence and natural disasters in Enoch's day, and notable miracles performed by Enoch. The Book of Moses is itself an excerpt from Joseph Smith's translation of the Bible, which is published in full, complete with these chapters concerning Enoch, by Community of Christ, in the Joseph Smith translation of the Bible, where it appears as part of the Book of Genesis. D and C 104 to 24 COFC 107 to 48 minus 49 LDS states that Adam ordained Enoch to the higher priesthood, now called the Melchizedek, after the great high priest at age 25. That he was 65 when Adam blessed him, and he lived 365 years after that until he was translated, so making him 430 years old when that occurred. Additionally in LDS theology, Enoch is implied to be the scribe who recorded Adam's blessings and prophecies at Adam Andi Amun, as recorded in D&C 107 to 53-57 LDS D&C 104 to 29B COFC. Topic Enoch in Islam topic in Islam, Enoch Arabic Aknuk translate. Aknuk commonly in Islamic literature, Idris Iadris is identified with Idris, as for example by the history of Al-Tabari interpretation and the Meadows of Gold. The Quran contains two references to Idris, in Surah Al-Anbiya verse number 85, and in Surah Maryam Mary verses 56-57, the Prophets, 21-85, and the same blessing was bestowed upon Ismail and Idris and Zul Kifl, because they all practiced fortitude, Mary 1956-57, and remember Idris in the book, he was indeed very truthful, a prophet. And we lifted him to a lofty station. Idris is closely linked in Muslim tradition with the origin of writing and other technical arts of civilization, including the study of astronomical phenomena, both of which Enoch is credited with in the Testament of Abraham. Nonetheless, although some Muslims view Enoch and Idris as the same prophet while others do not, many Muslims still honor Enoch as one of the earliest prophets, regardless of which view they hold. Topic see also topic Adam and Eve LDS Church Entering Heaven Alive Metatron topic Notes topic topic References topic topic External links topic The Descendants of Adam, The Legacy of Cain, The Souls Elijah and Enoch Catholic Encyclopedia Henoch Andre A. Orlov Essays on Two Enoch, Enoch as the Heavenly Priest, Enoch as the Expert in Secrets, Enoch as the Scribe and Enoch as the Mediator ed. Philip P. Wiener Dictionary of the History of Ideas, Cosmic Voyages 1973, Dr. Reed C. Durham, Jr. Comparison of Masonic Legends of Enoch and Mormon Scriptures Description of Enoch 1974.